welcome back now we will go to where is the android studio open that in here you will create a new flutter project and in here make sure to select the flutter right after click next and now we will just give the name to our project we will say google map just that and with it we'll also say API now come here and click upon that finish this will create a new project for us right in the Android studio just wait for a while here we are now in here select the project as you guys can see go towards the lib open that and here we are with the man dot dot now we will just set up our project in order to access the google map okay now let's go ahead and click upon that postback.yaml in here we will just provide some dependencies now open the browser and in here as you guys can see simply search for pub.dev click upon that pub.dev and in here now we will search for google map flutter so we'll say in here google maps flutter you guys can see that click upon that first one and you can just read the documentation but I'll skip that and we will go towards the installing and here you guys can see that dependencies okay simply just copy that from here and go towards the Android Studio and below this Copertino icons in here past it now right after just come here and click upon that pub get so you will just import it just wait for a while resolving dependencies now simply just get this down from here and now if you go back towards the pub.dev in here let me just show you one thing you guys can see that in here for Android we have to just change the minimum SDK version right in the Android app build.gradle okay so we will go there and just update this minimum SDK version to 20 you guys can see that let us go back to the Android studio we will go towards the Android and then go towards the app and here we are with the build.gradle open that scroll down and you guys can see that minimum SDK version just simply remove that from here and set it to 20 now all good go back towards the pub.dev scroll down we have to just provide that metadata okay as you guys can see android app src man and then we will go towards the android manifest.xml we will just add that right in here so what we will do you will just copy that from here copy it control C and go back to the Android Studio first let me just close that from here and move to the left side now go towards the Android then app then SRC and then we will go towards the man and there we go with the Android manifest .xml. open that and 
right at the top you guys can see that application below that application in here we will just add the metadata there we go and you guys can see that in here your key here so we will simply go towards the Google Maps API console and from there we will just copy the API key and just provide it in here so then this Android app will just have the access to the Google Maps first we will go and just copy the API key in order to get the required work so here we are right in the browser and you guys can see that first tape in here we are on the Google Maps platform simply search for that and open it and we have already successfully created the project right in the previous video and you guys can see that maps API key you can simply just look for that right in the keys and credentials okay as you guys can see now come here and in here click upon that show key and we will copy that specific key copy it close it and go back to the Android studio now begin here right in the Android manifest file now simply in here remove that from here and paste the API key and make sure do not share this API key with anyone or otherwise they will have access to your project so all of the working for the Android has been completed successfully now just go towards the main dot dot here we are and all of this setup has been completed successfully now we will end this video and we will start working right from the next one so see ya